Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's do a little bit of review of an implicit differentiation. The first thing that we need to realize is that implicit differentiation is simply an extension of the chain rule. This topic right here, this is the chain rule. Uh, how do you, what is the chain rule? Well, it's how to find the derivative of a composite function. If I have this composite function f of g, h prime is derivative of the outside at the inside times the derivative of the inside. You can find, keep in mind, you can go back to our textbook. It's going to be part A, and it has a complete discussion of the implicit differentiation. It actually has some nice notes about that. So this is a really brief review of implicit differentiation. So if I have this, another way I could think about this composite function is h of x is f of u, where u is g of x. Well, what's h prime? h prime is going to be f prime of u times u prime. Okay, and then what we want to do is how did we get here? Well, we got here by differentiating with respect to x of h of x. And so we differentiated the right side and differentiated the left side. And what is the derivative with respect to x of f of u? It's going to be f prime of u, which is the inside, times the derivative of the inside. So if I were going to just look at the right side and differentiate with respect to x, u to the fifth, that's going to be 5u to the fourth. The way are there. 5u to the fourth times u prime. And what would u prime be? u prime is going to be du dx. So that's just the chain rule. Okay, u is the inside, derivative of the outside at the inside. The outside was something to the fifth. The derivative of something to the fifth is 5u to the fourth times the derivative of the inside, which is u prime. In this case, it's du dx. Well, in like a manner, here, why can't y? u is just a dummy variable. We can let the inside then be y. Okay, and if I were going to differentiate here, the outside is something squared. Well, what's the derivative of something squared? To something. But since I'm differentiating with respect to x, the derivative of y squared with respect to x has got to be the derivative of the outside at the inside y times the derivative of the inside, which is dy dx. So that's why the derivative with respect to x of y squared is going to be 2y dy dx. And I would challenge you to look in your interactive textbook uh, about implicit differentiation. It's going to be found right after the chain rule section. So what you need to remember, if you're differentiating with respect to x anything with an i, just tag this dy dx on it. Here's a good example. So I have this equation, y squared minus 2x minus 4y minus 1. Hey, let's find dy dx. Well, how am I going to find dy dx? I'm going to differentiate both sides with respect to x. This side is going to be easy. The derivative is 0 with respect to x is just 0. And now look at here. I have the derivative differentiation is linear operator, so I'm going to differentiate each piece. The derivative of y squared with respect to x will be 2y dy dx, derivative in the inside. The derivative of negative 2x, the variables match up here. That's simply going to be negative 2 times dx dx, but we don't write the dx dx. It's just negative 2 times 1. And then the derivative of this is going to be negative 4, is the derivative of the outside at the inside, times the derivative of the inside dy dx. The calculus is done. Now all I'm going to do is solve for this dy dx. I'm going to put this term and this term, leave him on the left side, take this guy, move him over there, add two to both sides, factor the dy dx out of both of these terms. dy dx is 2y minus 4 is equal to 2. Divide both sides by 2y minus 4. And this is dy dx. This is the derivative with respect to x of my original equation up there. So dy dx is equal to 2 over, what was the final denominator? 
2y minus 4. So here the derivative with respect to x was given only in terms of y. And that's okay. But say I had a question then that said, hey, find the tangent line to the graph, to this graph. It's not a function. It's not a function of x. It is a function of y, but let's not worry about that. But I want to find the tangent line to this graph at the point negative 2, 1, keeping in mind that dy dx, which is the slope of the tangent line, is 2 over 2y minus 4. Well, we know enough, we've known enough time that tangent lines now are, I've got the output, the derivative at, what? The derivative at negative 2 comma 1 times x minus negative 2. And what is the derivative? What is this guy right here at negative 2, 1? Well, I just put 1 in for y. 1 goes right in here, the y right there. And I get 2 over 2 minus 4, which is 2 over negative 2, which is negative 1. My tangent line becomes output, the y value, derivative at negative 2, 1 times x plus 2. And that's the tangent line to this graph at the point negative 2, 1. And if the question went one step further, which it may, and said, hey, find the normal line to the graph, to that graph at negative 2, 1, all we need to do is remember that normal lines are perpendicular to tangent lines at the point of tangency. So what is the, if I have a slope of negative 1, the perpendicular to negative 1, the m, perpendicular to negative 1, mm is going to be 1. I'm going to use the same point, the same x, the same y, xy. The only thing that changes is now, instead of the slope of negative 1, I use the slope of 1 because that's perpendicular, and then that is our normal line. So a quick, quick little review of implicit differentiation and finding normal and tangent lines. I'm going to zoom out here so you can see the whole picture here, the whole entire page. That's finding the tangent line to this graph. And this is finding the slope of all the tangent lines to this graph, which we did here by implicit differentiation. All righty. Good quick video over some implicit differentiation examples.